Welcome to the Dr. John Char Holistic Health Show. We're going to be talking about sinuses today and infections without antibiotics. You know what plagues Americans most during especially the called the flu seasons or the time when spring comes along and the pollen's in the air? That's allergies and congestions and that can lead to infections and people are miserable people got allergies you know and that can go on for not only a certain part of the year but can be all year round with different allergies now we found basically that if the immune system is not bombarded with all these called allergens which are stressors and allergens can come from all types of different look places like the environment you got chemicals you got sprays in the air from if you're maybe a, your neighbor spraying the yard or with these uh, insecticides and pesticides you can go down to your gas station and somebody fills the tank up and all of a sudden you say oh my gosh I get my nose is running or you might eat a certain type of food and all of a sudden yeah I'm getting rash or I got some allergies all these collectively are from one basic area the immune system and if the immune system is strong enough that will ward off they can handle all these stresses then basically you won't get the reactions like maybe um, sneezing or um, running nose or rash or hives or, and not feeling well on top of that so if you suffer from a chronic sinusitis or infection, you're likely to endure multiple courses of antibiotics, okay? Salt mist or even um, nasal sprays, which you can be addicted for for years. And some of the symptoms can be sinus pressure, pounding headaches, painful teeth or uh, toothaches, or a lot loss of uh, sleep and more some of them will have depression when they have these allergy attacks and they might turn to surgery and surgery does not provide you with lasting relief right in addressing real sinusitis and sinus infections caused by the overgrowth what is sinus the sinus is a lining and it's a hollow space but the lining and that membrane usually have an overgrowth of microbes and that microbes can be noxious bacteria uh, na uh, which invade the natural flora or uh, and you can also have a overgrowth of fungus or fungi that lives in your sinus and grows and it gets out of control that's where your immune system reacts and to these causing pain and swelling of the sinus itself. Why? Because the sinus usually is warm and moist and it's a perfect breeding ground for these uh, uh, bacterial microbes. Okay, so what are the first things you do a lot of times you go to the doctor to give you antibiotics but how many times have you gone and they did a sinus uh, examination on you and they took samples or they took specimens and they try to match them up with a specific antibiotics because the bacteria might be many different forms okay and if you don't have the right form that antibiotic is not going to work but what's problem with this antibiotics if you're taking a lot you can get reactions from it because the antibiotics can change or mutate and cause something more serious called a side effect. Never also, the problem is that when you take a antibiotic and it doesn't go straight to the point of the sinus, it has to go through the whole body. And you can also affect what we call your gut flora or your intestinal flora and neutralize that with the, from the friendly uh, bacteria, which you need to help you with your digestion and your food and then that affects the whole body see so 
if possible, antibiotics um, it can be limited and uh, because if you do have too much, then you have to get rid of the effect of the antibiotics before you can get things under control. And if the antibiotic works, a lot of times it will not work on the hottest specimen and now you have to go deal with the hottest specimen that is immune to the antibiotics and not to mention the fungus that has in there. Antibiotics, as you know, will not cure or will not take care of your viruses and your fungi. Okay. So when it doesn't do that, the body goes into the immune system, starts to attract, start to try to get the cytokines to create white blood cells to go fight the infection. And when that becomes overloaded, then the, the microbes are overpowering of reproducing the white blood cells, that's when you get infection, and you get pus, and you get discharge. Okay. So what do you do? Well, for one thing, you can use the right supplements to help boost the immune system, and, um, and uh, help with the antifungal, and antiviral, and antibacterial agents that directly affects the membrane of your sinuses. Um, you can use a drug free instead of using drugs that can kill the overgrowth and allow the body once again to retain its natural flora at best. Now what is a good thing to use and you don't have any side effects? And one of the things that a lot of people use, but you have to use the right concentration, is colloidal silver. And you use it 30 parts per million, and hence with a surfactin, surfactin. Okay, and what is a surfactin? That is to help to get better contact with the sinus membrane. And that usually can be a additive called polysorbate 20. And it helps with the combination of colloidal silver and uh, that polysorbate 20. Now, you can use colloidal silver, which has no side effects, as a spray, or you can use it with a neti pot. And what is a neti pot? It's a small vessel used to wash your sinuses. You can buy it in a drugstore. And then usually they use salt water to go ahead and, and wash and bathe the sinuses. That will kill the step staphylococcus, streptococcus, and even B, aragonosa, okay, the most common bacteria for sinus infections, and candida, and the fungus that commonly cause chronic sinusitis and infections, and it's safe. So how do you use it? You can spray your nose every 20 minutes. Again, you need to get what we call the 4 to 1 ratio. 4 to 1 ratio means that you're going to overpower the growth of the uh, bacteria in your nose, okay, the bacteria, the viruses in your nose, and the uh, fungi, the growth, because you can keep ahead of that, then eventually you will slowly destroy millions and millions of these microbes, and then pretty soon you can be ahead of the growth and eventually eliminate it, okay. okay. So every 20 to 30 minutes if you use a spray. So you get your spray, hold your nose up like that, get a fine spray, if you can get a tube, and spray it in your nose and inhale it, like, okay. And you do it every 20 minutes on each nostril. Not one nostril, but each nostril. And hold it like that as long as you can and at least for 20 minutes. So you're almost laying, laying down on your back. But one thing about it is every 20, 30 minutes you got to do that. You got to keep ahead. And if you have a sort of a early signs or acute sinusitis means and it flares up, usually it can happen, it takes about two to three days to have it under control or get rid of it. That means every 20 minutes you got to spray. And sometimes when you wake up at night, you got to spray. So you're spraying every 20 minutes, and then you follow up that 
by keeping ahead of the game. And when you, if you wake up for some reason or other, and you spray it again, okay, in your nose. It's an accumulative effect. For acute sinusitis, like I said, it takes you two, two to three days of spraying. But now, here's another way you can do it. Remember I talked about the neti pot, okay? Now, the neti pot will be able, you'll be able to use that with the vessels and it will go into your sinuses and it will hold that fluid into your sinuses for 20 minutes. And you can actually spend, instead of every 20 minutes spraying, you can do it two to three times a day because it will have enough there to hold the growth of that viruses in the nose or the bacteria and the fungus in the nose uh, to lower the growth of the, these uh, micro, microbes. Okay. Now that's for the acute. Now what about people who have chronic? Means chronic means it's almost every day. It's, it's, it's uh, uh, an invasion of your membrane, an inflammation of the membrane, and you get it like every day. It's not once in a while, and it's not acute. And it's gonna take longer. And it can take up to two to three weeks, not days, weeks, okay? So you can treat that the same way with the neti pot two to three times a day, or you gotta spray 20 minutes a day and for two to three weeks, which is a little, little more. Uh, diligence on your pot. Okay, now here's a clue. A lot of people say we use salt water, saline water, to flush the nose. Do not do that. If you're going to use colloidal silver, then you cannot mix it with salt water. It will destroy the effect of the silver colloidal. Okay, so, and also people say, well, I have to blow the sputum out of my nose. When do you do it? Do you spray before you blow your nose or after you blow your nose, then you put the application in there? You have to go ahead and blow your nose first, clear your nose out, and then apply the spray, or if you use a neti pot, use that. But not blow your nose after you finish it, or you blow all the substance that you put into the, no into the nose, and you clear it all out. Okay, now, um, sinus products available. Now, just, just have to go ahead and just use a spray. There are other things that you can use in conjunction with that. And I'll give you some organic products. One of the things I really like is oregano. It's a by, made by um, uh, American Herb and Spice. It's really, it's a small little bottle, but it's called Super Oregano P73. You can buy a lot of them in the health food stores. <coughs> That's very, very strong. And if you put a few drops on your tongue, it'll be like a really supercharged kimchi. It burns like crazy. So we tell our patients to put at least two to four drops in a six ounce glass of water and then slowly slip it down the mouth. Okay, It's going to burn a little bit, but it's not like if you put the full tincture on your tongue, it'll just burn and make your head spin, all right? Okay, now, that is good for any type of bacterial virus, fungus, and um, bacteria. It's a great product. And a lot of people use oregano in there as a condiment on their food. But I'm telling you, this is concentrated, and it's very good from American herb and spice. Now, if you have access to the Heal Pharmaceutical, they sell some of that in some health food stores called La Feel, nasal spray, and that's for like hay fevers. And you have to blow it, spray it in your nose and get into the membrane, okay? Now, there's another one called Sinusin. Sinusin is an excellent product, but you have to, again, you have to use it every 20 minutes, all right? Then they have a combination of homeopathic uh, called compositums. Compositum means that they have singular homeopathic remedies and they combine it together with different potencies, different strengths, 
And then what they do is we call it circussion, means they potonize it. And very simple how they potonize it. They get the hand, and they get the bottle, and then they pound it against a, like a, a book. About three, four, five times it's called circussion. That's how homeopathic works. When you put the, the remedies in there, you pound it. Or you can use your hand against your palm, hold up, and just pound it about four times, three, four times like this. And when it does that, it would actually energize that bottle. And with the combinations, it would actually bend it together. And it works as a compositum. means one. Okay. So, sinusin is good made by the Heal Pharmaceutical. Where do you find Heal Pharmaceutical? Some homeopathic um, companies, uh, and, uh, they carry it. But actually, it's, a lot of times it's in a health food store. You can get it. Or you can get it from some health practitioners, practitioners who practice um, homeopathic remedies, I mean practice homeopathy, or uh, ho holistic practitioners that do holistic practice, that have a holistic practice, okay? Now, um, so that's good for rhinitis, sinusitis, colds, flu, and it's a nasal, and for nasal symptoms. Then in the, there's another one that's pretty good. It's called Super Relief. And that's used with your neti pot. Okay? And it's already made, so you don't have to go buy the silver colloidal 30 pots per million, and you don't have to go get a neti pot, or, and, um, and they have the combinations in there. Uh, and it's called the Supi, Super Neti, N-E-T-I, Neti Juice Rinse. And it's the most powerful one, and it holds that in your sinus for 20 minutes and at a time. It contains elemental silver, deionized water, peppermint oil, and a surfactant. Okay, use it two, three, two to three times a day. And use for people who are, have lots of antibiotics and even recovering from sinus surgery. Okay, that's really good. It all comes in one kit, so you don't have to buy all these separate kits. And that you can get from um, Health Alert. Right? Uh, so, like I say, go to your uh, health practitioner and see if he can order it for you. Okay. Another one you take, and I like this one here, is called Alaplex. Now, Alaplex is a really good uh, homeopathic remedy. It's in a, you can get it in a tablet form. And when you get the tablet, this is one to three. I like to have my patients take three every hour for at least a four, four, four hours. And he says, why? You want to get into your bloodstream now, uh, into your nervous system. Now, how? How do you do that? You don't want to go to your digestive system. So you get these tablets and you stick it under your tongue and have it melt on it. You can actually move it around to have it melt faster. And then it tastes like it doesn't taste like anything. It's flat, okay? So it doesn't have a distinctive taste to it. And um, it really works good because it, it kind of helps you promote on that instead of antibiotics. It helps you promote working for these allergies, trying to get these allergies going. So it goes and trying to neutralize some of those stressors that are creating havoc on your immune system. Now, you don't want the immune system to be overloaded and cause autoimmune disorders, and that's where you got that type of uh, reaction called sinusitis, okay, inflammation. You want to reduce that, and then the immune system can handle those um, stressors, okay. Then you can take another one called immunoplex, immunoplex, and that's by standard process, okay. And standard process has been around for a good number of years. And um, a lot of the health practitioners, chiropractors, naturopaths carry standard process. Okay? Um, in fact, actually, standard process company was founded by Dr. Royal um, years ago, and who was a dentist. Imagine that. Standard process was founded by a dentist. <laughs> Next one is called um, Sinus Heal. And I told you about that. There's actually um, sinusin is a spray and sinus um, heal. And that's again a tablet. And they tell you to take one to three tablets under the tongue, okay, 
and you can take it uh, like every 20 minutes, okay? Um, uh, wow, well, I, I take it every hour. And you can, they tell you, take one to three tablets. I have patients take three tablets, okay? And then that suffices for people who, who are large, you know, versus people who are smaller. If they're smaller size and they're uh, younger, you take one, you can take one or two. But I like to get that into the neurological system quicker and faster. So I use that, uh, uh, instead of one, I use three tablets. I tell them to take three tablets, okay? Um, there's another one that's called allergy, and that's made from the heel again. So you got a combination of spray, you got a combination of homeopathic, or if you prefer taking the uh, supplements like vitamin D, uh, uh, omega-3s, you can do all those same things for the sinus, okay, omega-3s, um, oil, um, fermented cod liver oil, all these, it wouldn't hurt. You can take them all together and because you got to keep your body's immune system up and you can't let your body start to get sick or go down in energy. And then, of course, you're more prone for infections because your body cannot resist it to the immune system. Okay. Okay. One of the things I like is immunozyme, immunozyme by the Apex Company. And why I use immunozyme? Because I told you they can get it from standard process. Your choice. You know, I, I prefer immunozyme because basically that has the enzymes in there. And I like enzymes that make, it's like a catalyst and makes things work quicker, okay? It sort of enhances the e efficacy of the supplements you take it. And enzymes is one of the highest. So uh, look, when you're talking about what is the priority level of in terms of pecking order of, of the importance, Enzyme comes first, then second is minerals, and third is vitamins. So you need your enzymes as a catalyst to make the minerals work better, and the minerals are the ones that process and build structure, and vitamins give you the energy for you to sustain the cells, see? So you need all those three, actually, and so people who are ill or get signed, they don't like to do anything they, 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 because they feel so miserable. and so then they don't take anything, and of course the body gets weaker. Of course, some people say, well, that's good because they're going like a fast. It's true, but you got to nourish your body so you can get those energy up there, so then the body so, they gets so weak and so crumb, and the immune system goes down, and you start getting more ill, okay? So, so another one, finally, is called methoxyzyme. And I like those because people who have congestion, they get phlegm and they get mucus. And a lot of that mucus, where does it come from? You think it's from here only? Yes, because you got some inflammation. But a lot of times it comes from the small intestines. You see, the body is not processing through the stomach. The food, by the time it gets and received by the small intestines. And the small intestines start to build up what we call mucus and it goes back into the bloodstream through the called the villi and it goes back to the bloodstream and it carries it all over the body and carries the infection and everything all over the body. And so what you like to do is reduce congestion and mucus. Okay, so why is, is mucus bad? No, mucus, the body protects, you protect the body, the body protects itself. It has a defense mechanism where it builds mucus before those viruses come along and go straight into the, and tax the cell, the cell wall, to get inside and replicate itself, it, the body usually enhouses it, it encloses it with a, like a mucus or encapsulates it or, and sometimes it can kill like a tumor or a cyst because it's encapsulated. But what's the danger is if it's inside the body and it doesn't have any place to drain out, it goes and breaks, it explodes, and it, that, that, uh, that layer becomes really encrusted, and it becomes a, um, a, a like a, um, what do we call it, a, a virus, kind of virus type. And the virus enclosed, what do we call that? Called a, um, 
antivirus, not antivirus, but a virus in them, retrovirus, okay, retrovirus. And the retrovirus basically breaks out and it goes into the bloodstream and carries the enzymes with, with it and it attacks the cell wall and eats up the cell wall and it penetrates through the cell wall, gets it to, to the center of the cell called the nucleolus and it replicates so fast that the immune system don't even recognize it and that's where you get the autoimmune disorder starts to happen and the body succumbs. So understanding all those and I know that you might have to play this tape over again because I gave you a lot of information. But if you do that, you can do it yourself and prevent and help reduce your sinus attacks, either acute sinus in two to three days or your chronic sinuses, which can last about two to three weeks of that therapy. And a lot of times you clear it out and you start feeling relief. Not to mention how you would help the immune system ward off other types of disorders. And they call that those stressors called disorders. And then you feel more healthy again. So I'm glad to share my knowledge with you. And um, I'll talk more about health issues on our next show. So I was glad talking to you. and. Stay tuned for another Health Hips. <laughs>